lovely tulips. Get your lovely tulips all the way from the soil. <laughs> what are you playing at? We're supposed to know what we're doing. I know what we're doing. We're looking for Mr. Big, who you think might not be Mr. Big after all. In fact, he might be Mr. Average, and he might not be in there after all. Lovely tulips. Get your lovely tulips. Couch. Coat. Lovely tulips. Get your lovely tulips. I think we're wasting our time here, Paul. Look, a valuable jewel's gone missing, and this is as good a place as any to start looking for it. So keep at it. And for your information, he isn't in there. How do you know? He's coming out. Watch it. He's coming over. We don't want him to recognise us. Down. Lilies? No, Barry. Uh, no, I, I noticed you've got lilies. Have we? Oh. Leave this to me. Would you like some, sir? I checked with the wholesaler this morning, and he said they were perfectly ripe. Here, go and have a cup of tea and come back later. No, I think I'll just have a buttonhole. Uh, certainly, sir. Barry, give the gentleman a buttonhole. Certainly. May I? <coughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> Oh, mind the coat, there's a good fellow. It's camel hair. Is it? I had one of those once. Did you? I had it for three weeks and never asked for a drink once. Could you hold that a minute, please? Thank you. Excuse my brother, he has difficulty grasping things. It's the gloves. If you'll just leave the coat with us, we'll get it cleaned at no expense. Well, somebody's got to pay for it. You'll pay for it in a minute. Don't worry about it, I'll uh, take it to my own cleaners later. Oh, well in that case, uh, a nice buttonhole. There you go, on the house. Or should I say, on the stall. Uh, thank you. And thank you. Phew. That was a close one. Yeah. Oh, look. These must have dropped out of his pocket. I'd better go after him. We can use them. No, we can't. Our lock's different. Not on our locks, on his. We can go into his flat and have a quick look round. We can't do that. Yes, we can. Because of you, this whole operation's in jeopardy. And if you dare ask me where Jeopardy is, I won't be held responsible for my actions. Yes, but... Yes, but... I know it's against everything we chuckles hold dear, but needs must if we want to get Grand's Ruby back. It's nothing to do with what we hold dear. We don't know what flat he lives in. All right. Mind you, how we're going to get past the door, man? Leave that to me. For Mr Carrington Smythe. Pronounce Smith. Well, there's not much in here. This shouldn't take long. We'll give the place a quick once-over anyway. Now, listen. We need to find some solid evidence linking him to the theft before we hand the case over to the authorities. Ah, so we're looking for a case, then? No, not exactly. Could be anything. And one more thing. What? It's very important that when we're finished, we leave the place exactly as we found it. We don't want him to know we've been in here. Got it? Got it. Right. What are you doing? You said we've got to leave everything as we found it. Yes. Well, if I don't touch anything, I won't have to worry, will I? I didn't mean... Oh, forget it. Just search. OK. What are we looking for, exactly? Clues. And what do these clues look like? I don't know. You'll recognise them when you see them. Always start at the bottom and work your way up. You can bet your socks you'll find something. Bet me what? Socks. <laughs> Look at that! We found something. Whoa. Whoa! What happened? When you said socks, the drawer came out. Socks? Ah! Oh, get it off! Oh. How? Socks! Ah. Oh. Oh, dear. Now look what you've done. You put your head through it. Do you know, I'm beginning to think this place is like an iceberg. Cold, you mean? No, only one-eighth of it on the surface. I've seen something like this on Tomorrow's World. When? Yesterday. Everything works on sounds and voice commands. Here, I'll show you. 
Television. That's very good. So does that mean if I want the light on, I say light? <laughs> oh. oh! Light. <laughs> Not exactly. Hey, stand there. <laughs> Light! Light! Shall we call it a draw? Draw. <laughs> this place is like a minefield. Maybe there's a manual override somewhere. Yes, but where? Here. Huh, I think I've found it, Barry. Oh, yes, this is the Contrabox 650. I've seen this model before. Where? Just there. Oh, how do you turn it on? Well, it's a sound system. Is it? Yes. It'll be activated on certain sounds, you see. We'll just have to bypass it. You can bypass it, if you like. I'm having nothing to do with it. Typical. OK. Just remember who did it when the credits are being handed out. Paul, why would Carrington Smythe pronounce Smith have his telescope trained on the flower store? He probably uses it to pick out his buttonhole. There. Done it. Oh. It is you do leaving things as they were. I didn't see it when you weren't bothered. That was a close one. Close? You very nearly wrecked the place. Why don't you leave it to someone who knows what they're doing? How dare you? I know exactly what I'm doing. Anyway, I fixed it now. It's sorted. Is it me or is it getting a little warm in here? I'll give you that. It is getting a bit humid. Does that panel control the heating as well? It's funny you should mention that. Mind you, it's easy sorted. Open the window. See those little things on the ceiling? Yes. What are they? Fire sprinklers. I thought so. Don't they wait until it reaches a certain temperature, then suddenly... Do that. Quick! Get some buckets! Is that OK? We're going to need something more than this. Where am I going to get...? I know. The flower store. Back in the thing. Sorry, I'm a bit busy right now. Okay. Hey. Uh, hey. What I want to say okay, is, okay. Yeah, go and get yourself a coffee. That's not not enough. Okay, I'll settle up with you later. Bye, time two. News or the bad news? Give me the good news. I've got the bucket. I can see that. What's the bad news? Carrington Smythe, pronounced Smith, is on his way back. Hey, well, why didn't you say so? I just did. What are we going to do? Hang on. I seem to have had my keys mislaid. I don't suppose you could lend me the spare. Yep. Yes, sir. Thank you. Stand up there. That's it. Put the buckets on. You can't leave me here like this. I'm not going to do it, Mom. I suppose you're wondering what we're doing here. The thought had crossed my mind. Paul will explain. I will. I will. Um, well, uh, 
Yeah, well, we're just passing your window, and we thought we heard a noise. We're on the fourth floor. <laughs> We've got very good hearing. You must have. We thought you might have intruders, so we thought we'd come to investigate. That's it, isn't it, Barry? I see. Anything to add? Just that we've got to be careful to leave everything exactly as we found it. <laughs> That's not it at all. In truth, I've been expecting you ever since I received a tip-off telling me that you were looking for the Runnymede ruby. So you know that it's gone missing, then? Of course he does, Barry. He stole it. I arrest you in the name of... <laughs> Do you know who I am? Yes, you're Mr Carrington Smythe, pronounced Smith. I am head of MI7. You're not. I am. You're not. I am. Are you? Are you? Yes. So you work for the government, then? Yes. Would you like to see my credentials? No, thanks. We'll take your word for it. Good. Now, the Runnymede ruby is the only one of its kind in the world. Well, yeah, we know that. But what you don't know is that it can be used to power a top-secret invention. What does it do? I don't know. It's top-secret. But what I do know is that it mustn't fall into the wrong hands. I want you to get that ruby back so no one can make that machine. Us? Why us? It's important as few people know about this as possible. And you're expendable. Hey, do you hear that, Manny? We're expendable. I've never been expendable before. Me neither. Leave it to us. Come on, Manny. We've got work to do. Fancy him being a secret government agent. Yeah, you'd never know to look at him. Mm. Hey, does that mean if we're working for him, we'll be secret government agents as well? Oh, yes. And when we've got the ruby back, they'll probably put our statues up in Trafalgar Square. Great. That's where all the pigeons are, isn't it? That's right. We'll be covered in glory. That's not all we'll be covered in. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. You can have your stall back now. We're finished with it. Stall? It's not my stall. It isn't? No. What I want is a bunch of flowers for my wife. Hey, you two! You don't think he's changed his mind, do you? Or worse still, tried to make himself a cuppa? I don't know. But just in case, we'd better make ourselves scarce. Before he makes us scarcer. 